Good evening. Thank you for joining me on this YouTube channel. I'm still trying to understand and learn how to use this platform and perhaps the best way to use it. We just finished the first season of the CNN news update. A nice little, I don't know, test run. See what uh, we can do better. Or if we should even continue doing it at all. You know, uh, jumping on this YouTube thing, I definitely feel like the last man at the party, right? Considering all the video, all the content that's out there. Right. Of all the Bible studies and the sermons that were available on YouTube, I don't understand why I should contribute to that ocean. I mean, if somebody's interested in learning, if somebody has questions about the Bible, they can just go and type in a YouTube search and they're going to find the answers. They don't need another guy. They don't need me, you know? I, I honestly feel like I'd be wasting my time to pursue this as a way of reaching people. I don't want to fall into the, we got to get more views, we need more subscribers trend. I don't want to, this, what should I use this for? Seriously. I like sharing with people what the Lord shares with me. And this is just a way to make, perhaps reach people that are not near me, around me. You know, God said the servant who did nothing with that talent was wicked. You know, and so I feel like having these resources available, if I were to just not do anything with it, I would be like the wicked servant. So I'm just gonna hopefully put some stuff out there. Do all things with excellence as unto the Lord and not unto men. You know, if I do this for the Lord, then I'm happy, then everything's good. If nobody ever saw it, if, if I put a video out there two years ago and it got like one view, then that's all that matters, right? If that, if that one view was from the Lord's attention, if he's the only one that saw it, then hey, job done. I did it. For the Lord. Right? Do all things with excellence as unto the Lord and not unto men. I did my part. I put it out there. You know? And if nobody else saw it, I'd be happy. Because I did it for the Lord. If people do see this, this channel, then how do we connect? How do we how do we engage one another? How do we you know how I, I don't I don't know how to move forward with this. I 
I guess we'll learn along the way. If anybody has any suggestions on, um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm excited to see what we can do. I'm excited to learn with you. I'm excited to hear from you what you're doing in order to serve the Lord. I want to know what verse have you read recently? Have you studied recently that made you go I'm going to start doing that. And I want to know what what have you seen since you've begun applying that You know, are you noticing anything good, anything bad? I believe when we see a verse in Scripture that jumps out at us and we say, I'm going to start doing that, that's when we get to see perhaps transformation in our life and we get to see God working in our life and the lives of others let me know what verse or verses you've studied recently that you said I need to start doing that. For me, it was one of them was praise ye the Lord, right? We're constantly being told to praise the Lord. In, in the book of Psalms, praise the Lord. And if you look up the definition of praise, it means, you know, especially in song. Praise ye the Lord is a command. We're told to sing to God. Now, I can I can say, well, I I don't I don't sing, and not sing, and disobey the word of God. But I took that as a command. Praise you, the Lord. I should learn how to sing. You know, if I don't want to keep whisper singing those hymns, right? Like, in church service, because I'm scared and ashamed of how I might sound. Oh no, people are going to think I'm not perfect. You know? If I don't want to feel that way, if I don't want to sound bad, well, maybe I should figure out how can I learn to sing, you know? Oh, well, I don't have the gift of singing. You know what? That statement is what stops people from ever trying. Out of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you speak that way, all you're speaking is doubt and fear and unwillingness to make time to learn how to sing. You know? I started doing 30 minute vocal warm ups with a guy named Jeff Roca on YouTube. That guy, fantastic vocal coach. Check him out. You want to learn how to sing? Go to Jeff Roca, Jeff Roca's YouTube channel. I'll even put that in the description. He deserves the likes and the subscriptions for all the help he's done for 
the people of this world. Amazing. You know, we're all... I have a harmonica, and when I blow into it, it makes a nice noise, you know? God breathed into us the breath of life. Alright? We're like instruments. We should be able to sound good. We should do good. We should be good. Right? Everybody has a voice. We just gotta tune it. If you can say words, then you can just say them with emotion. Enunciate. Hold some syllables out longer than others. Some vowels, you know? Sing! Praise you the Lord. I saw that I saw that and I identified it as a command and I said, Yes, Lord, I will sing your praises because you deserve to be glorified, magnified, honored. You know, someone once told me, listen, it's not what you said, it's how you said it that upsets me. And so I thought, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should work on my tone. Praise you the Lord. That was a command that was given to me by God through the King James Version Bible that made me have to step outside of my comfort zone. What is a verse and or verses you read that you said, you know what? That's not something I do. That's not something I've ever wanted to do. But God says we should do it. And since what I want to do is what God wants me to do, then I want to do that. Tell me. Send me, write it in a comment. I don't know if YouTube has messages or anything, but if you know how to do that, teach me how to do that. You know? I think, uh, who knows, maybe... Maybe I could put out one of these videos once a week just to hopefully engage on a more personal level, something not so scripted like the CNN news updates. Um, hopefully just maybe reveal to you a more personal side and um, I'm excited to see what happens. God bless you.